Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Cruz. You've probably heard by now, Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine has been given full approval by the FDA. Those shots fully approved for those 16 and up. Midland County is hoping that will encourage their workers to get vaccinated. Why? The county is seeing an increasing number of workers catching the virus. As Rachel Robinson tells you, they talked about how to reduce the impacts of COVID today. Rachel. Yeah, Crystal, today's meeting was long and they had one discussion about the rise in county employees who got coronavirus and ways they're trying to stop the spread. This workforce is what I would call at risk. COVID-19 is making its way through the community and county employees are no exception. You know, for, for each employee, they have families, they have children, and uh, we, we ultimately are all impacted, I mean, as a community. There are currently 30 employees that have COVID-19, with only two of those being vaccinated. Uh, to get vaccinated or not vaccinated, you know, everyone has that free choice to do so. Some employees the Midland do County Director of HR addressed the commissioners to see if they thought action should be taken to stop the spread. Not one person wanted to touch but everyone seemed to agree that it's up to personal choice. Uh, we, we've even put up signage, you know, asking people to, to please be courteous and, and wear a mask. I mean, we, we, since we're a, a government entity, we, we can't uh, require that anyone wear a mask. So it becomes personal choice. And that's, that's pretty much what we're down to is personal choice. The Pfizer vaccine is the only one that's been approved so far. Commissioners also wanted county employees to know that the Pfizer vaccine is now FDA approved and hopefully that will help sway people to get vaccinated. But for now, they're gonna keep tabs on the numbers like the rest of the community and hopefully slow the spread. At, at this point, uh, commissioner's court meets uh, once every two weeks. So I'm going to uh, go back and, and pull some more statistics and, and give uh, clear updates as to you know, where we stand. And the court also announced they are going to postpone the impact celebration to a later date due to the rise in COVID numbers.